at that time, Sing was pri privately owned. They weren't part of Chorus or anything. And it was a little house in Burlington. And uh, so this is Saturday night about 7.30 I get there. And there's Julie, and he's got, he's got a milk crate with albums in it. And he's ready to go on the air. So he takes me in the control room. And there's another guy on the air in there with his own milk crate and his albums. And he's scattering, gathering up all his stuff before he signs off and puts on Julie's first record. It starts. He bolts out of the room. Julie starts and all of a sudden there's album covers and albums flying all over the room and the place is total chaos. Just total chaos. And that's why it ruined it for Linda because she saw behind the curtain. She saw that the Emperor had no clothes. <laughs> or she saw the Wizard of Oz behind the curtain pulling the levers. And Julie's just flying around the control room and doing his breaks and everything's, there's no dead air, everything's working. So I went down to the down, I said, where's the can or kitchen, whatever. I wanted to take a walk, get some water, whatever it was. So there's the, I go in the kitchen. <laughs> the teletype paper is on, a, the teletype and the paper is on a board over the sink. And the teletype spooling off into the sink. <laughs> That's what sing was. I went, wow, all right, this is radio. And we left. And we're in the car. And of course he's doing, and it's just seamless because he's, you can't see it. And I went, oh yeah, I got to do this. I just have to do this. 